Page 18, Gray Skies. Probably not going to be a party piece. Let's see. 4-4 four, four time with one flat. We are in the key of F major. Make sure you can do the scale on F major. At least one octave up and down. Two octaves would be better, but at least one octave. Let's just check our fingerings and notes, because we got notes going all over the place here. Rhythm-wise, shouldn't be a problem. A lot of quarter notes. So you're starting out here. Remember that all the B's are flatted. It's in the key signature, so it's one, three, lift up. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, scrunch up a little, little fourth finger. This way you're in position. One, two. One, two, three, just come down. You do that some more. Now, this is measure 10. The, that note way up there in the stratosphere, that, that's three ledger lines above. Well, you know two ledger lines is a C, I hope. You should know that. So three would be two notes, so that's an E. So memorize that. You need to know that. Three ledger lines is an E. So it's so again for the measure before. It's one, two, three, four, one, two. You you gotta come quite a ways. You may have to practice that. Rest. So you go. And then uh, measure twelve, you're doing it again here. And then measure we go into three, four times. However, the speed of the quarter note remains the same. The only difference is you're not counting to four, you're just counting to three. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. But the speed, the beat, remains the same. So starting again on measure 11 going on, it would be that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. And let's just work on this fingering here on the three four time. So you're here, and they want fifth finger, scratch up, cross over here. That's fine. There's other fingerings we can use, but this is okay. That's all right, it works. Just play it all connected, all legato. And then at the end, the last two measures, you have an A and a D. And in theory, you're going to hold those out forever. You can't, but you, the pedal will help you. And then you come up here. And then the A, that A has an ABA over it. So you're going to go up an octave. So it's... And which finger you use to play that is up to you. I use a little finger because it's closest. Whatever. Left hand, we got multiple voices going on here. So look out. You want to hold the whole note down. As I'm playing these. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right there, measure seven. I want to hold that now. That's why we're doing a one, two, one. We have to here pretty much. And then we lift up. So again. Now I'm trying to connect them as best I can. Now going on, we can't hold the whole note down when we have to come up here. The pedal will help, but in theory we're holding it down. If you can hold it down, you do though. And the three time, one, two, three, one. See, the beat remains the same, whatever it is. And then going on, measure 17, you're back into four, four time. One, two, three, four. That's an A, a B flat, and a D. There for measure 18. So it's here. However you finger it is up to you. You can do a three, two, one, a four, three, one. I can do a five, two, five, four, two. Whatever, just finger it. And then going on, 19, a D. an F and a C held down for two measures. Put the hands together. One, two, three, four, one, two. And when you get 
to the last line, it's a little tricky because the hands get in each other's way. So in major 19, you're here. Here. I, I need a C. That's fine because I got a D. Just get on top. And then here. And then up here. Here. So watch out on that. And when you can do that, this is all pretty much legato for the most part. You just connect everything. You have to lift up. It's a sigh. Oh, it's great skies. I don't know. Now they're saying a major six lift up. Okay, I mean, he wrote it that way. If that's what he wants, that's fine. So again, at the measure five here. The left hand, keep it connected here. You get the idea, just left up between the slurs. Otherwise, it's all connected. And then we can add the dynamics. That's for the right hand. The left hand needs to be in the background. Keep it like very soft. So it's soft. And you come up, ha, oh, up there. So look, this, keep that down. Soft. Now go up the medium loud here. Keep the left hand out of the way. Major six, your diminuendo back to soft. You can do three measures to do it. So you play it like a measure at a time. You're just getting softer here, and then back to soft. And when you get to the three, four time, a measure thirteen, you go up to me, like, me, me, moderately loud for the right hand. Measure 15, you start coming back down to soft. Then when you get to measure 17, you're soft. And at the end of measure 19, you're getting softer, you're gonna start down and slow down. Very soft. And while you're playing this, don't let this overpower it. This needs to, this needs to really be, this should be very soft to begin with when you played it. Should be soft. Because now you're going to die away here. Well, we need pedal to give us overtones and to help us connect things. It says cone ped, that means with pedal, and they don't tell you how to pedal it. So I'm going to suggest maybe we just use overlapping pedal and you change it pretty much at each measure. Keep it simple. So I'm going to push the notes down first and then the pedal. And when I change the pedal, I'm going to play the notes first and then change the pedal. Now, when you get to measures eight, seven and eight, maybe you don't want to mesh all that up. Yeah, so you could maybe release the pedal here. Experiment. So I released it on B4 there. And I released on measure 8, I, re I released it on B3. So, so again, those two measures. So you can have a little silence there and then pedal again. both of those measures and then you can lift the pedal and the hands at the same time and when you lift the pedal do it slowly we don't want this and then suddenly no sound so lift the pedal slowly so let the sound die away I don't know how well that works with an electronic piano it depends on the piano and the pedal so you have to experiment with it of course, on an electronic piano, you can always reach up at that point and turn, gradually turn the volume down, too. That's another way to fade out. Speed-wise, well, it's a gentle waltz. It's not really a sad song. It's kind of a melancholy song. 
kind of a, I don't know if I'm sad or happy. I'm kind of in the middle. I'll, I'll, let's, I'll decide later. Let me have a beer. I think it would be somewhere around in here. I'd like to play this with you very slowly, but well, slow anyway, to double check the notes and the rhythms and I can do the dynamics. And I'll go ahead and do the pedaling as I suggested. It Really it's pretty much all throughout except for those two measures. So I'll give us four counts. Let's just play it together slowly. One, two, ready, go. One.